Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ross Shaw, and today I'll be giving my first impressions of Clip Studio Paint. I try my best to help out as many artists as I can. I get so many comments asking about different effects and tools and different programs. So I'm happy to announce that Clip Studio and I are teaming up to give you this video. Let's do it. All right. One of the big features I'm super excited for is record time lapse. I heard so many great things about this. So we're going to make a new file. And there is a checkbox right here called record time lapse. You guys know that I made my career on time lapse videos, you know, speed painting, recording my process beginning to end. I wish this feature existed when I started, but better late than never. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the video to see how the time lapse turns out. Let's do it. So right now I'm just trying to capture that experience of being an artist. Paint and magic flowing all around her. She's happy, she's excited, maybe uh, a little scared. <laughs> New program. And also, you guys know the meme and the joke, I hate drawing hands, but New program, new challenges, so I'm gonna attempt to draw her hand. Hey guys, welcome back, and here's the progress of the piece so far. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I think the drawing experience is really smooth. It's a little foreign to me. I don't know all the hotkeys or the shortcuts, but I'm slowly and surely learning this program. And one tool that I've heard such great things about and I can't wait to try is the AI colorization. I'm a little hesitant on trying new things. You know, I'm a bit of a grandpa. I like to stay in my comfort zone, but this is a whole new program with a whole new set of features and I would love to try AI colorization. The way AI colorization works is it maps out But yeah, that's uh, how it works. Pretty simple. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. And set our layer to a reference layer and without giving it any hints, any color, we're just going to colorize it. You ready? 3 2 1 Oh my god. Yo! That's kind of cool. <laughs> It has a sense of highlight, mid-tone, and shadows. This is a great starting off point for a piece, you know? For someone that just wants to spit color onto a page, is kind of scared of that white canvas, don't know what color to pick, this is a great tool. And now let's undo. We're gonna add a color hint to help guide the program into what color palette we want. All right, now this time, let's see what happens. Go to Edit, Colorize, Use hit image and colorize. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe it. You know, I was a little scared because my actual line work is very chaotic. You know, this is how I paint and the reference tutorial had really clean line work. And so I thought it was going to mess it up, but the AI did an amazing job at reading what I wanted. I think this is looking pretty good so far. So I'm going to commit to this palette and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Just checking in with a piece. I like it a lot, you know, but I'm not really sure about the color of these paint splashes that's framing the character. So I'm gonna try a new tool in Clip Studio Paint that allows me to color drop from my desktop. If you go to edit, obtain screen color, it allows me to select any color, whether you're on Google, Pinterest, maybe you took some reference photos and you're trying to see what value it is. And so maybe we'll try this nice yellow here. And then, ooh, that's awesome. This saves me so much time so I don't have to kind of drag it into my canvas. Also, I record all my YouTube videos with OBS. And one thing I've noticed is that when OBS is on and I try to color pick from my desktop, it automatically turns all my colors gray. So that's 
Kind of weird. Hopefully they'll fix it in a patch or two, but that's something for you guys to be aware of. Looking good so far, so I'm just going to keep working on it and I'll check the rest of it. Hey guys, so right now I'm working on this uh, oh, this, this weird hand and I wanna to talk to you guys about using reference. Sometimes there's a misconception that professional artists needs to know perfect anatomy at every angle all the time and that's just simply unrealistic. And so there's no shame in taking your own reference photos. A quick photo shoot with Mindy to get some uh, different angles of the hand, you know, try to capture the anatomy. <laughs> And so we're gonna let this guide us into making this better. So the next time you're kind of struggling with your piece, maybe take five minutes, take out your camera phone and experiment by taking your own reference photos. Sometimes we're scavenging the internet to find that perfect reference photo, but maybe it's easier to take your own because you know exactly what you want. And I just stumbled upon some of the default brushes that come with Clip Studio Paint. Usually I hate using default brushes because it's a little cheesy, but let me show you some of my favorite ones that come with the program. There's this flower one. I actually really love the line work on this. There's a cherry petal one if you kind of like that Japanese aesthetic. Oh my gosh, there's this, <laughs> there's this gold chain one. But my absolute favorite, I think, is this bubble brush. I feel like I could totally see me using this inside this piece. You know, the colors of the bubbles match the paint splashes. That has that fun, vibrant, energetic feeling. And if these brushes aren't enough for you, CSP actually has a whole library where you can download free brushes, assets, and elements for your projects. Also, I'm told that Photoshop brushes are ready to be imported into CSP as is. Also, my advanced brush pack is now available. It's 24 brushes I use in almost every single one of my painting, all ready to be used in Clip Studio Paint. And last but not least, what's really impressed me was the Clip Studio Paint cloud system. And because Clip Studio Paint is available for all major operating systems, Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, I can work on my iPad. I think they did a really good job at translating all the functionality from the desktop to the mobile version. And when I'm done, say I come back from school, come back from a coffee shop, I can let the piece sync up and finish it back on my desktop. I really love this functionality because I think nowadays everything is fast paced, on the go, mobile, and I think this really helps me with my workflow. You know what time it is. It's, it's ad glow time. Woo! Ooh, ad glow. Hey guys, welcome back and thank you so much CSP again for helping me make this video possible. There's a whole bunch of other features I haven't tried yet. So why don't you guys go try them, tell me your favorites because there's a three month free trial. Thanks again, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every day is a color dodge day.